Oh, it's so dark. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hello everyone. This is Lindsay and Jason and welcome back to my channel. It feels like it's been a while since I've talked to you guys. These past few weeks have been pretty busy and just full of stuff. I've had some family issues and I've done a lot of trips. It's been just crazy. So I'm glad to be back and filming this video for you. And it's going to be a very exciting video. Something that I haven't, well, actually I have done something a little bit like this on this channel, but I feel like this is a little bit more serious. Dying my hair with Overtone. Now I've mentioned this product a couple of times actually in my previous videos just because I've been so excited to use this product. So Overtone is a temporary dye, but it's not just one that washes away after one use. Overtone will last honestly for however long you are willing and can use the daily conditioner. So I would say it probably lasts for a few months depending on how often you wash your hair. I usually wash it like once a week, so I feel like it'll last quite a long time, but it lasts a lot longer for a temporary dye than most other dyes. Overtone is a deep treatment on your hair, so this doesn't contain any ammonia, bleach, developers, or anything that will lift your cuticle and damage your hair. So this is actually a very healthy product and will keep your hair nice and healthy and happy. It conditions your hair and it does not lighten your hair but it will reinvigorate and add vibrancy to your hair. So you can't really go blonde at this color with this product, but you can go like purple and cool colors like that. Overtone is vegan and cruelty free and never possible. It's organically sourced. It doesn't contain any drying alcohols like other box dyes and also contains really good oils for your hair, particularly coconut oil, linseed oil, primrose oil, and jojoba oil. So there is that downside that it doesn't lighten your hair, but honestly, I am so pumped to use this stuff and let you guys know how it goes. Here, I'll, I'll open it up for you. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so dark. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to lay a towel down really quick. Towel is down and we open up these bad boys. So we need gloves and it also says to do like a little test area on your hair, but like, it's not like I'm going to not use this after I try to test it out. So I feel I'm just gonna do my whole head. Oh, also I'm going to start off with brushing out my hair. And I know a lot of you curly girls out there do not recommend brushing your hair, but no curly routine is exactly the same. And I used to say that brushing your hair was just like the worst thing you could do for it, but it just, it just works for me. And so I'm gonna brush out my hair to detangle, but I'm going to be using this nice boar bristle brush and starting from the ends. I've only highlighted my hair once and it was just so annoying for me to have these highlights that are like down to here now. And it's just so tedious to keep up. So I'm just not really the person that dyes their hair and is going to keep up with that. So this kind of product is right up my alley. I mean, honestly, I'm a big fan of my hair brushed out curly. I don't know. I think it looks really cute. Some people say that it's just like the worst thing ever. And I don't know, it just, it just works for me. So I actually like it. Before we start out with the hair dye, I heard from someone else that putting Vaseline on your hairline is ideal just so that you don't get it all over your face and have it like be hard to wash out. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All brushed out. Now we're just going to section it because the last hair dye video I did, I didn't section my hair and I was an idiot. So a lot of people use like a full thing of hair dye with their hair, but my hair isn't like crazy thick. So I can't imagine that I'll use the entire thing. Well, I think I'll use the entire sample, but I don't think I would need an entire tub, but we'll hope for the best. <laughs> Thank you. 
It is just like so dark and I've never put anything this dark on my hair or like I've never done self tanner either. So this is just like really intense for me. It's a little overwhelming. It smells, it really does smell like a hair salon. Like that, or like a spa. That kind of smell, that is exactly what this is. I like have it on my neck. Oh. I don't know how that was gonna work, man. Oh, you can already see the color difference. Also, you curly girls know this just is so depressing, the difference in length. <laughs> love this smell. I just like get this smell of a spa without having to go and spend all that money. I love that. This is pretty painless and these gloves are so big I can like take them off and readjust and everything pretty easily. It's, it's not too bad but time will tell. This is actually a good time. You have to make sure that you really get it into your roots too. And in the back, oh my gosh, I need to remember to do that. I'm also so impressed and grateful that you guys still watch my videos with me starting out like every video looking like this. For all you people that stick it out, I promise I have a glove and I'm really grateful that you still watch to the end. <laughs> I'm definitely being pretty conservative with the color and how much I'm putting on just because I know that I have a, a small sample of this product. Last section. So I used the product pretty conservatively so that at the end, if I have any extra, I'll just use that just because there isn't enough for two uses. So I am just going to continue to put this on. I think I got all of it now, so I'm just going to check in the mirror what it looks like, because I definitely missed some spots. And also have my husband just like look at the back of my head and make sure that I didn't miss anything on the back because I have a feeling that I did. So I will get back to you after that. I used the whole two ounce bottle I mean, it just makes sense. You forget to do your hairline in so many different places that you can't see very well. So just make sure that you are really particular about that. Even if you section like I did, you still need to keep on sectioning more and more and getting your hairline. So that's all done. Pretty painless. I'm just going to put my hair up and leave it for 15 minutes or so. The product doesn't get any darker or more vibrant after 15 to 20 minutes in your hair. So I will just wait that out and then wash it out and then come back to you and give you my full honest review of this. Hello everyone, I'm back with my results. It's quite a bit later now, so it's pretty dark, but I just wanted to share what it looked like when I had the time. And this is what it looks like. I have a few things about it that I want to share. I think it looks really fun. It's honestly not as dark as I anticipated and I'm kind of disappointed. I used it for like 25 minutes or so. I had it in my hair. So I thought that that was as dark as it would get and that's what they say. So that's just what I assume. But I really did think it was gonna be darker, which is kind of sad, but this is what I got. And it was also so difficult to get out in the shower. And I didn't even get all of it out. I was scrunching out my hair and I was like, oh my gosh, my t-shirt is black. <laughs> so I think that is also really annoying. My shower is just so brown right now and I need to figure out that. But with all of that aside, I think my hair looks pretty good and it's a really fun change to have. To keep up with this, I'll be using the Overtone Daily Conditioner in Espresso Brown. And this will hopefully keep the vibrancy of this color and maybe even 
make it even darker than this we'll see um but a lot of people ask why you would need something like this instead of just using a cocktail of a box dye and a conditioner but let me tell you you just don't know the viscosity of the different products between your box dye and your conditioner and if those products work well together and the amount that you need of both but this is just the perfect combination of the dye and the conditioner to make your hair healthy and happy and vibrant so I'll be using this. I usually wash my hair once a week, so I imagine that this will last quite some time, maybe a month or so, and then my hair will go back to its natural color. This is what I have for you. It's not too bad. I think it's really cute, not as dark as I wanted, like I said, but I still think it is a really cool product. It's really fun, especially if you have lighter hair to try all the different colors. Maybe one day I'll try a pink and it'll kind of turn more purpley, berry color, and that'll be kind of fun. But for now, this is what we got going on. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped. If you have any other questions about Overtone and its products, please let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel to keep up on all of my content. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.